Hey there, my name is Tara, otherwise known as Candy Mama. And today I'm gonna to show you guys what I'm bringing on my FKT attempt of the Colorado Trail. So let's get right into it. quick because one I have a tripod right now made out of sticks and I don't know how long it's gonna last this is everything my base weight is 9.1 but this is also my food so with my food it's around 15 pounds so I'm carrying five pounds of food right now and that's actually for two days so we're going really fast me and my friend Liz are doing this attempt together and we're going really fast so we're going to restock every two days this is the cutaway by Nashville packs I went on a shakedown hike I will link above here uh, and it worked really well. I did feel a little wear and tear where my collarbone met my straps and I did feel it there so I know one, I'm not gonna hike in a tank top, obviously two, because it's Colorado and I need a sun hoodie, but two, I know to luco tape that uh, strap there. So I have a one liter smart water bottle here on the outside. I have my bathroom bag, which consists of, of toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and uh, tissue paper. I have a cold soaking jar here for ramen. I have my switchback here, which I cut short by three links, I think. And I will mention this, I already posted a gear video and asked y'all's help getting the pack weight down because it was a little it was a little much I was trying to get it under 10 pounds as you can see as I told you earlier I did get it under 10 pounds with the help of y'all so thank you so much I also have my be free here I actually need to test this out to see if it's fully working uh, I need to maybe clean it a little bit on the inside I have a food bag if you watch that first gear video which I'll link up here you probably noticed that I was bringing a large, uh, well, not a large, it was a the smallest bear can, bear vault, that bear vault makes. It was a sprint, but it was still so heavy. I think it was a pound 11 ounces, I want to say. So I got a lot of comments from y'all, and y'all were like, get rid of the bear vault and just bring a food bag. That's what I did. This food bag is by Hilltop Packs, and they customized it for me. That is me and my husband at the top of Mount Katahdin at the end of our Appalachian Trail through hike. So that is all my food right there. Also, this is the tarp I'm bringing, the Six Moons Designs Gatewood Cape. Wavering back and forth, bringing the net tent with this tarp, and I decided uh, with the help of y'all that I was not going to bring the net tent. I was just going to send it and do the tarp. I already sent my trekking poles and my tent stakes to essentially the start of the trail because I can't bring those on a flight. I have to get on a flight from Montrose to Denver. So I can't bring those on the flight. So they're already gone, but uh, there would be tent stakes in here. But this is the Gatewood Cape by Six Spoons Designs. And then I have this Polycrow footprint. So that's what this is. Got rid of the Tyvek. That was a little heavy and a little bulky. So we got rid of that and I got a Polycrow footprint. But this is just a Z-Packs like dry bag, like stuff sack. And inside I have toothbrush that I cut short. I know you guys are probably laughing. I've never done that before, but I cut it short. I have some chapstick, I have some toothpaste tabs, I have sunscreen and nut butter, I have chapstick and caffeine pills and salt sticks, which is necessary because right now Colorado is so hot. It's like up in the like 80s, 90s even. It's getting really hot. I brought a backup water filtration system i guess you could say it's the aqua tabs and then i have a lighter with some uh, duct tape around it so that is the med kit right there so next i have my electrical bag here and this is by far the heaviest thing i have in my pack the reason why i am bringing so many electronics or uh, items for my electronics 
is because with an FKT, which is the fastest known time, if you guys didn't know, FKT st stands for fastest known time, so I'm going for a speed record on the Colorado Trail. The reason why I'm bringing so many electronics is because I need to track the, the attempt. I need to make sure that um, it is verified and making sure that whoever's verifying it can see that I did all the miles. So I need to be able to charge my um, Coros watch and my Garmin in reach. And on top of that, I also need to charge my lights. If I'm going for a speed record, I can't get all the hiking done in a like daylight hour. So I need to hike at night or me and Liz need to hike during the night. So I have two forms of lights here. So I have a night core headlamp and then a backup light in case that goes. I have an inverter, I have a series of wires, and then I have two large battery banks. Again, I have to charge those items. I have to charge my phone so I know where I'm going. I have to charge my Garmin and my Coro so the attempt is tracked. And I also have to charge these two lighting sources. So I really don't wanna do this hike and have it not tracked. I mean, if I'm going for this, I need to have the entire attempt tracked fully and I need to be able to see at night. So that is why I am not willing to get rid of anything in here is because I really need to make sure everything is charged appropriately. My pillow, this is also just a stuff sack. You turn it inside out and it is a fleece. It has a fleece inner part and um, that acts as a pillow, but it's also a dry bag. So in here I have this cool layer so it's by Leave Outdoor Company. It's an Alpha Fleece, Alpha Direct Fleece. And this is an extremely lightweight mid-layer, I guess you could call it, but this is really cute. I think it's really warm as well, but it's also just extremely light. I have some sleep socks, and these will also act as mittens if it gets cold. And again, here is that pillow as a, or here's that stuff sack as a pillow. All right, so next I have a down jacket. I was going back and forth debating if I should bring the down jacket because with the alpha fleece and the um, rain jacket in conjunction, that's gonna add a lot of warmth. But I think I just feel comfortable bringing this. I know it's 11 ounces and I know I'm packing my fears, but I really feel comfortable bringing this uh, with me. I have my Enlightened Equipment quilt. It's in there, I promise. That is what's making up most of the bag right now. So in Littleton, where I'm staying right before the trail, I am having a lighter footprint sent to me. And this is just a regular contractor bag, but I forget what it's called. Um, I'll put the name down here. But I'm having that sent to me. Uh, it's way lighter, so just even more weight reduced. I also have a set of headphones because it's going to be a long, long trip and I would really like to listen to my music and books. I also have in this pocket up here, I have my ID and some money. I have a plastic bag for my phone in case it rains. Garmin inReach. On the bottom here of my pack is my pea cloth so it's easily accessible. And the very bottom is this fun pocket that Nashville Packs kind of um, came up with. And it's an easy pocket that you can slip your hand when you're like hiking. You can slip it under and grab you, any items that you have in this stretchy pocket. But in here I have like my additional layers. So these are just wind pants that are going to keep some heat in if it's raining or if it's really cold or windy. And then I have this rain layer by um, really it's by frog tog but the company that sent me the alpha fleece actually did moderations to this frog tog and it's again by that company leave uh, outdoor company so l-e-v-e -E. and so they put pit zips in there they took off some extra fluff and made it overall lighter and more breathable i did send my swiss army knife with my tent stakes and my trekking poles so i don't have that in here as well but that is my gear for the colorado trail i am so excited to get on the trail in about a week and 
it's sure to be a hot hot year in the description down below i am going to put my lighter pack so you can see the breakdown of the weight also in the description i'm gonna have a link to a book i just published and it is about my fkt on the bed trail oh there it goes there's my phone <laughs> That was my tripod just breaking. Anyways, I'll just tell you like this. Um, there's a link down below. A, it's a book that I wrote about my FKT on the Batman K Trail. I currently hold the fastest known time overall, men and women, on the Batman K Trail. And if you would like to buy that, it's $15.99 on Amazon. You can buy that there. I'm going to go back down the mountain and get away from these flies. They're driving me crazy. I hope to see you in the next video and hopefully in the next video I'll have some good news that I set the FKT on the Colorado Trail alongside my friend Liz. That is all for right now guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh if you did watch the very end please comment a thunder storm emoji a thunder lightning storm emoji and that will let me know that you watched the very end and i will say hello in the comments all right guys that's all for right now bye